A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter seven, verses thirty-six to fifty. The passage is taken from the Message version of the Bible. One of the Pharisees asked him over for a meal. He went to the Pharisee's house and sat down at the dinner table. Just then, a woman of the village, the town hollered, having learned that Jesus was a guest in the home of the Pharisees, came with a bottle of very expensive perfume and stood at his feet, weeping, raining tears on his feet. Letting down her hair, she dried his feet, kissed them. And anoint them with the perfume. When the Pharisees had had invited him, saw this, he said to himself, "If this man was a prophet, I thought he was. He would have known what kind of woman this is who is falling all over him." Jesus said to him, "Simon, I have something to tell you." Oh, tell me. Two men. Were in debts to a banker. One owed five hundred silver pieces, the other fifty. Neither of them could pay up, and so the banker cancelled both debts. Which of the two would be more grateful? Simon answered, "I suppose the one who was given the most." That's right," said Jesus. Then, turning to the woman, but speaking to Simon, he said. Do you see this woman? I came to your home. You provided no water for my feet, but she rained tears on my feet and dried them with her hair. You gave me no greeting, but from the time I arrived, she hasn't quit kissing my feet. You provided nothing for refreshing up, but she has soothed my feet with perfume. Impressive, isn't it? She was forgiven many, many sins, and so she is very, very grateful. If the forgiveness is minimal, the gratitude is minimal. Then he spoke to her, "I forgive your sins." That set the dinner guests talking behind his back. Who does he think he is, forgiving sins? He ignored them and said to the woman, "Your fate." Has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. I am Father Joseph Kudimatiu, and this is Coffee with God. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter seven, verses thirty-six to fifty. You loved much. Jesus accepts the hospitality of a Pharisee named Simon, and uses the situation to share an important lesson. How come a woman of ill repute walks into a Pharisee's house without being stopped is not explained in the gospel. The text emphasizes the significance of the woman's silent gestures in expressing her devotion to Jesus. It highlights the actions of the woman's eyes shedding tears, her hands anointing Jesus' feet, her lips kissing his feet, and her hair drying his feet. Seven times, the author refers to the feet of Jesus. These physical acts of devotion are portrayed as a deeply meaningful. And are accepted by Jesus. The woman enters and positions herself at the feet of Jesus. She begins to weep and cleanses his feet with her tears. What do these tears signify? They have been interpreted as symbols of repentance and a plea for forgiveness from Jesus. However, she is not petitioning Jesus for forgiveness. She has already been forgiven. Those tears are not expressions of sorrow; they are tears of joy from one who has finally realized her life's worth. 
every eucharist is a meal with jesus despite our unworthiness to dine with jesus no one would stop us at the door rather we are welcomed to the table of the lord at the table we are all equal in dignity as children of god jesus speaks to simon his host she has loved much as we gather around the table of the lord will jesus say the same about each of us he loved much or she loved much as the woman left the table better than she came in we too leave the mass as a new person better than we came in